First, as you know, again, as I said, suicide is everybody's business and it's something for us to address as a community. Collectively, we can make a difference. Um, currently in Guyana and around the world, suicide has been, an epidemic has been destroying and rocking family foundation at the national level. And for us to come together to address the issues, it takes more than one group, to come together collectively. However, suicide in Guyana, and we can talk about suicide at the, at the length, and we will not find all the answers pertaining to suicide, but as groups coming together, showing oneness and solidarity, and joining hands and shoulders together, I think we can tackle the epidemic from a very strong point of view. Great. Now, let me ask you, Pandit Sigram, you are a pundit, a spiritual leader. What role should our spiritual leaders play in the well, community when it comes to suicide? Truly speaking, I think, and I want to be very verbal, that I have done the role of a pandit. Truly, truly to serve humanity. I have been working in Guyana since 2005 to the current time. Um, one of the major issues in Guyana, and even here, that most of our spiritual leaders are failing from our responsibilities of nurturing our community. As spiritual leaders, we have a social obligation, not only the religious obligation to our community, but more so the social issues that which have been clogging our community at the national level. Um, and I think as Hindu leaders, we need to come together to take a strong look as to how can we take back our community. There are so many issues has been destroying family foundation, not only in Guyana, but also right here in New York City. Uh, most of our spiritual leaders, we focus on the mandirs and the rituals and the pujas and the jandis and the kata, which is very, very important. But we have more social issues. And if we talk about comparison of Christianity and Islam and the amount of work they have been doing for the social awareness of their organization, their people and their community, it, it, it's humongous. And I do hope that we as Indian Hindu leaders would look at the bigger picture, how do we curb our society back to where it belongs. I just came from Guyana, um, and any functions you go to in Guyana, everybody's talking Christianity has been taking our people. Christianity and conversion is in the high rise in Guyana. But the missionaries within Christianity, they work. They talk about love, they talk about kindness, they talk about compassion. They try to reach out to someone and make a difference. Whereas we Indian Hindu leaders, we set ourselves in certain brackets that if a girl who have probably got pregnant and get kicked out of her home and she becomes unwanted, she's an outcast. Whereas right. Christianity will go to that child, pick her up and make her somebody that belongs exactly. to the faith. Right. And one yeah. of the key subjects we need to look is to love, kindness, and compassion, that where we can win human heart. And that's where Christianity has been offered at the national level in Guyan and many other countries is about their love, yeah. their kindness, and their compassion. Now, I mean, suicide can hit any Anyways. religion. Watch the remaining show on ITV Gold. Subscribe to ITV Gold on Time Warner Cable Channel 1539. ITV Gold is America's first full-time television channel that caters to the South Asian community. Your favorite dramas with English subtitles. Watch movies, back-to-back -back songs, award-winning local news coverage and much, much more. Subscribe to ITV Gold on Time Warner Cable Channel 1539. Part of the 8-channel combo pack for $39.95. And our East Coast viewers can also subscribe to ITV on RCN Channel 476 and Cablevision on Channel 1168.